Intercostal at one time, you name it. Well, let, let me put it this way here. Now, I'm going back to things that my father told me. People come out of Oxon Hill, didn't know anything about downtown Washington. They came to Anacostia. Anacostia had everything you wanted, from shoe shops to shoe repairs to grocery stores, furniture store. You had one furniture store on Good Hope Road, which was Thompson Brothers. You had Curtis Brothers, which became a little small store. Then they grew into a great big store. It was a used furniture store. Then they grew into a huge uh, furniture store. Everything they wanted was over here. They had no reason to go across the bridge for anything. Everything was over here in the Anacostia. Bowling Field used to flood out. When it rained for two or three days, Bowling Field flooded. And they had to take them planes and take tractors and fold the wings up and bring them planes out of Bowling Field because the flood water got very high. And bring them planes up Halbert Road. And somehow or another they hooked up to go down Defense Highway. Defense Highway is what they call now Sudan Parkway. That was defense. And the only thing that went on that was government vehicles because they were building Andrews at that time. All right, where we live on the other end of Bowling Field in the house that if it rained for two or three days, we took most of the furniture upstairs in the house. Amazing. And we took our big wagon and went to my uncle's house, which was my mother's, well, I called uncle, we called him Uncle Frank which lived on Douglas Road across from now Douglas Junior High School, right across the street where he lived in a big red house. And he was a hustler, man, you know, southern, you know, produce. And we'd go up there and stay till the water recess. And then when the water recess, we went back home. And there would be great big old cops floating in the mud and stuff like that. And we went out there and gather them up, you know, get a couple of them up. Anything that didn't go back in the water, we would get it. And sometimes if the water didn't come all the way up in the house, my brother and I made us a big box that we'd push up down in the water. And there, there'd be water boxes out there in the water like that, that, that big around. We made a little net, scoop them up and play with them, put them in a bucket. There's something to do. The 25 I mean, they, or 30 years they dumped, that we suffered, they dumped it was everything. really through urban renewal of Southwest. They, they would everything. tear down a house, and this is when I, I guess when I became personally uh, what they call a rebel with a cause, because they would tear down a house in Anacostia and build an apartment building. They would, they would I mean, people started moving in at such a rate that they had to declare a moratorium on on multifamily development in Anacostia because there were so many people coming in so fast. All of the public housing became filled to capacity. The turnover was terrible. We used to have families that lived for, like you said, with their kids and their kids' kids. It became where you didn't know who your next door neighbor was from one day to the next. And that's going, that's still a lot of that today. So we're trying to stop that influx.